Cast forward. Do 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 Cast forward. Do 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 Cast forward. Do 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 do. Welcome back to Cast Forward Fishing. I'm your host Rob Couture. Today we are out on Big Windy Lake Winnipeg. Although it's not very windy in here because today we are actually fishing in a glacier wheelhouse. This is my very first time fishing in one of these. This is an absolutely beautiful setup. So stay tuned for a tour of this beautiful wheelhouse as well as some fish. Double live scope, baby. Not only are we in a $70,000 trailer, we've got $15,000 worth of electronics in here. Yeah. We also got a lunch for tomorrow. There we go. Another nice eater. Well, my friends, we are living large today. We've got live scope numero uno. Live scope numero do. We are about to head outside and barbecue a few beautiful steaks. We've got some mushrooms all ready to go, as well as some baked potatoes. It's going to be a delicious supper. Looking forward to it. Looky what we got here. 15 p.m. Bridal bait hit the bottom, came up right away. Beautiful fish. Well done. Yeah. Supper is served. We've got some steak, mushrooms, baked potatoes, and coleslaw. This is good living. We are doing okay out here, that is for sure. Pen, it has been a bit of a long day as I was out here on the ice. Pretty much all day scouting out different spots. Uh, we've had quite a few fish come in in the last little while. We've kind of changed up our tactics a little bit. Currently ripping a live target. A live target glow in the dark rattle bait. There's definitely been some more fish uh, coming through since uh, Trevor initially put on his rattle bait. I don't know if you've noticed that, I do have it um, <clears throat> baited with a uh, half a minnow on the front hook. Uh, Trevor did catch his last walleye on just a plain hook, it just hit the rattle bait, so try to cover all bases. Well guys, it is 20 to 12, we are going to shut it down for the night and uh, get back at it tomorrow morning. It's been a pretty awesome day here in the Glacier Ice House amazing this is my very first time being in one and uh what an experience we managed to uh, land three fish here tonight three decent uh, keeper walleyes so here we go we've got uh our friend jay seaman rocking out on the tv welcome to cooking with jay we've got one walleye That's my we're watching his video in a glacier ice house as well by the way but ours is bigger. <laughs> 24 footer. You gotta love it. Mr. Marshall. Absolutely. He's 17 footer that Jay's in. But that being said, we are roughing it here with the uh, YouTube on the TV. Gotta love it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Cast Ford Fishing. Day two in the Maestral Wheelhouse. 
It is breakfast time. We have some breakfast sandwiches made by the man himself, Trevor Maestro. These are farm fresh eggs as Trevor raises his own chickens back at his house. So it's going to be pretty delicious. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Got to be honest with you guys. It has most definitely been a tough year out here on Lake Winnipeg. The fish themselves have been extremely finicky. We've tried many different presentations, everything from a small tungsten with a piece of minnow to rattle baits. Uh, I've actually used live bait more this winter than I ever have in the past. I was told that perhaps the fish are kind of turned off because we've had a couple high water years here in the Lake Winnipeg watershed. So um, I was told by Lee Nolden from Smoke and Fish, also known as the godfather of Lake Winnipeg, that high water years equal a lot of bait fish. So maybe those fish are filling up on the bait fish for all I know. I can't ever remember a year um, that's been like this. I mean, when you find the fish and uh, they're on, they are on. But uh, for the most part, with the live scope, we just see them mostly cruising through. All right, guys, I'd like to introduce you to the man. This is Trevor Maishrell, the owner, operator of Maishrell Wheelhouse Adventures. I've been so fortunate to be invited and uh, head out on one of the sort of maiden runs and uh, what an experience this is a super luxurious ice castle so trev tell me a little bit about your so this is a, a 2021 uh, 24 foot uh, glacier wheelhouse as i like to say wheelhouse is more of an american term uh you know some people call them ice castles yeah. there's fish house and all that uh, but yeah, so uh, 24 feet, it's the um, largest one out on Lake Winnipeg that I know of right now for uh, rent, uh, giving you lots of room. Yeah. 24 feet long, 8 feet wide, you've got uh, 7 holes throughout the trailer. Uh, they're 12 inch holes but drilled out at 10 inches with sleeves and covers on them so you don't lose stuff down the hole. We've got a bathroom in the front, um, you know, so you don't have to go to the cold elements in these uh, minus 30 days with the wind are blowing like today. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we've got a kitchen here with a three burner stove, an oven, microwave, uh, you know, do all your cooking, place to clean up your dishes, got lots of counter space, lots of seating. We've got a, a couch here that you've got room for three people to comfortably sit. You've got another couple bench seats in the back for another four people can sit back here and room to put some chairs in the middle and uh, comfortably fish while you're out here there is so much room in this bunkhouse guys it is unbelievable this is by far the most comfortable i've ever been ice fishing you know typically i ice fish out of my pop-up tent in the past i've had permi shacks um you know i've even been in a converted camper trailer nothing can compare to this experience it is so comfortable trevor's such an awesome guy he really knows his stuff and uh, I really would encourage you guys to uh, get a hold of Trevor at uh, Maestro Wheelhouse Adventures. You can find him on Facebook, as well as you could call at... Yeah, you can call or text me at 204-688-8738. Or you can reach out through email at maestrowheelhouseadventures at gmail.com. Um, once again, I'd like to say thank you so much, Trevor, for having me. Having it has been here, a wonderful experience, one I won't forget anytime yeah. soon. Well, enough chat, guys. We're going to get back to doing some fishing. We need to land ourselves a couple more greenbacks today. Let's go. Here we go. We've got a follower. Just going to lead it up. Up. Oh, fish on. Well, guys, finally, it has been a tough go this morning. We uh, ended up hitting this nice little greenback on the frostbite tantrum right there tipped with the uh the minnow this guy's a little bit small so we're gonna quickly uh, get the hooks out and uh send them back let them grow
So there we go, guys. We've got a nice, small Mariah. Some people also refer to these as burbot, yep. lingcod, kind of an interesting fish. We're going to cube it up. We're going to boil it in some 7-Up and have ourselves some poor man lobster today. Excellent. Well, guys, another beautiful keeper walleye. It bit on the uh, Pelican Lures J-Bomb with a live minnow. Oh. Got him. Take a look at this beautiful girl. What a awesome fish. Gotta love it. Lake Winnipeg Greenbacks, baby. Well, cast forward friends, that is a wrap for the Glacier Bunkhouse fishing excursion out here on Big Windy. And until next time, my friends, fish on. Cast forward. Do -do 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 -do. Cast forward. Do -do 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 -do. Cast forward. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do